what's up fam and welcome back to the channel thank you guys for stopping by the channel i want to talk a little bit today about the wilderness season and coming out of egypt so before i get into what i want to talk about i want to kind of go into egypt a little bit so i want you to think of egypt in terms of matter earth physical form okay and now let's take it to the story so in jo remember in joshua when the children of israel before they could move into their land of milk and honey they had to be circumcised right and there was a group that could not go right because they were still stuck in egypt they were still stuck in the old ways they were still stuck in unbelief fear um the comfort of egypt now this path that they were on it was the wilderness you know it was dry land it was not knowing what was ahead it was having to come up against different battles and different um type of obstacles because you remember they had to go to jericho and fight that battle and it was through the divine instruction they had to walk around remember they had to walk around in a circle seven times and then they had to speak the word and then the walls of jericho came tumbling down see that route took faith it took not knowing what was around the corner when we are transitioning into our next phase or into our land of milk and honey for better words it's a faith walk it's a faith walk, not knowing what's around the corner and waiting for divine instruction each and every time. A lot of times what's happening, you're going through a mental circumcision where things, people, places, beliefs, old belief systems are being stripped off of you. It's being stripped right off of you because you can't take that into your new land, right? And the goal is, like it says in Jeremiah, for you to prosper and to have a future right and so a lot of these things from egypt from this materialistic mindset that a lot of us have wrapped our identity into it has to be stripped because the kingdom mentality is different than egypt's mentality and us we forgot along the way that we are really spirit just having a physical experience we've lost sight of that and we've wrapped a lot of ourselves just into this physical reality like a lot of us won't make moves in life because of circumstances of those walls of jericho right so we won't make a move we don't have that type of faith we lost sight of the magic and what i mean by magic is the divine who can come in and intercede on your behalf and assist this is what miracles is all about right we we lost sight, sight of that we lost sight of that and so now a lot of you guys are coming out of your wilderness season you're like one instruction away from moving into that land of milk and honey but you have to tune in tune in and wait for the instructions and then there's the other group that they have to learn more lessons. But for some of you right now, you're about to cross over. And what may look like a wall, a Jericho wall in front of you, it's an illusion. Speak a word to that wall. All walls of delay and lack and unbelief and on fear crumble now in a perfect way under grace. It's a faith walk and faith is a frequency right and it's given to each and every one of us that asks for it but i want to come on and say that today you guys this wilderness season water is provided in the wilderness behold i do a new thing can you not see it <laughs> can you not see it 
can you not see it? We can't go into the new kingdom with fear. Some people can't go into that new lifestyle with you. They can't. They can't go with you. Some old mindset, some old belief systems that you had, it can't go with you. It's not compatible. It's not yoked with your new life. Some of you guys are going to have a whole new life. <laughs> A whole new life. Y'all remember when we were younger? You would see something on TV and you'd be like, oh, my mom's going to get that for me. Oh, my dad's going to get that for me. Like, when we were children, we didn't even care. We just we just knew, hey, our parents going to get it. They're going to they find a way to get it. Right? And that's the same thing. You, the same way we have to be with our divine mother and father. We have to know that if it's in the divine will, it's ours. It's ours. That's all, y'all. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Shalom. Namaste.